Hey guys and welcome. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Xiaomi robot vacuum and mop that I have purchased from my last video. Um, we've had it for about more than a week now. So let's get started. Plus number one is that it is convenient. Um, prior to owning a robot vacuum, I have a weekend helper that helps with the general upkeep and maintenance um, of the house so she will vacuum and mop uh, once a week and um, she cannot do that right now because of the circuit breaker so i have taken over the vacuuming task quite a bit and i find that i have to constantly sweep and vacuum the floor because reza is in his mouthing phase so he's like picking up everything on the floor and putting it inside his mouth. He's also eating by himself. So obviously he will make a mess of everything. And there is just a lot of cleaning to do. So the robot vacuum just takes off this load off me because you can just vacuum every day every hour all day every week if you need to because you are not doing the vacuuming so that is a major plus and which is why i have decided to get myself a robot vacuum only for the sake of this convenience number two it vacuums and mops so this is a duo robot vacuum it has a mop function as well Hello! So he's joining. He's joining us, right? So that's like a big plus, guys. Um, so the robot vacuum comes with two containers. Uh, one strictly for vacuum and the other one for the dual fun function, which is the vacuuming and the mopping. So let's talk about the second container. So the the second container it can hold water so the front bit it will vacuum everything and then the back bit is the part where it does the mopping and it vacuum and mops as it goes around the house uh, which is brilliant it definitely saves time um, because you don't have to like go around the house vacuuming and then come back and do another round of mopping can you just mop with this? Um, yes, but you need to purchase a separate attachment for that. Um, just a container that holds water with uh, no... Like, it's just vacuuming entirely and not vacuum. So that's a separate container. Number three, it maps your entire house. So for this model, it has a um, software that allows it to map your house the first time it runs and that way you know exactly where it is going um, and most Xiaomi product it has the app to control it so you're able to see the areas of the house that has been mapped it is this is an important feature in um, most models of robot vacuums because I think the older ones they don't have this software and so what happens is that um, the robot will just randomly sweep the area of the house and sometimes it gets bum um, onto the wall or bum onto a coffee table and it will change direction so you don't know if they are going around in circles and whether they've covered the entire house number four it can get under your couch so the vacuum is only about three inches high so if you have space under your couch or your coffee table it can totally go under it and vacuums the entire area which is super super awesome because if you do like manual vacuuming you can't you always can't get under there and you have to like move the couch to, in order for you to um, clean the area under the couch but for this one you don't have to so that is I love it number five there are varying level of suctions um, that you can use if you have different kind of surface areas if you have a lot of carpets then maybe you can set it to the lower setting because I find that it if it's too strong 
you will end up dragging your rug so I like that you have um, different level of sections is it powerful now there are a lot of vacuums from the cheapest to the most expensive and it's not fair to compare this vacuum to those vacuum <laughs> this is not that vacuum um, the feature of getting a robot vacuum is really so that you don't have to do it so sure like an expensive vacuum you know would have better suction capability but you still have to do it and that's the entire point of getting a robot vacuum for the convenience and the price i feel like the suction is pretty good and the fact that it mops as well even better okay let's talk about the cons um obviously is the price uh so this retails anywhere between 500 to 600 dollars uh, I have purchased it for $549 from Lazada I don't think I've ever spent that much uh, on a vacuum so bearing in mind bear that in mind that it's actually quite steep for a vacuum not the cheapest nor the most expensive um, but I'm just sold on the fact that it is a robot vacuum and it just you don't have to vacuum <laughs> once you have a robot vacuum so i'm just so on that feature alone uh, this is not an impulsive purchase i have wanted to buy a robot vacuum since last year when i was pregnant with reza and uh, i know that you know once the child comes you know they'll be crawling and um the house really have to be kept clean all the time i cannot depend on my helper to a uh, vacuum once a week uh, so the reason why i didn't get the robot last year was because of um it is one of those items that's um you know expensive and i wanted to save more so that i can afford to get a good one um it's has been in our family wish list <laughs> last year and then it was brought forward to this year and i kept putting the purchase off because this year we have a major family goal which was we wanted to go for uh, umrah see see See, this is the family goals okay, if you can see that 2020 family goals and wish list um buy new vacuum robot vacuum that is one of the things that i wrote there so it's time to do a check for this that means that's done um the other thing is like my class three uh reza's passport already done last year and this family umrah so right now we are saving for a family umrah and uh, obviously you know we just we're just saving because at this time you know the whole world is uh you know umrah has been shut off uh, we cannot travel anywhere right so at this juncture the only thing that we can do for this family umrah goal is just to save i can't even approach travel agencies and whatnot because it's like there's no point so just save lah save until can go um and so all our savings went into that trip but because of the pandemic uh, we cannot go and so i decided that you know since my we can help her can't come anymore and we're staying home and i just decided that okay we're just gonna take a little bit out of that family trip savings and put it into buying this robot vacuum the other con that i think um uh, that i have concern for this vacuum is spot mopping um so i feel that the robot vacuum is best it's just is best for overall upkeep of the floors in the house maintenance 
uh, if accidents does happen um, you kind of need to vacuum the floor real quick and this wouldn't be the best solution because you have to get the app out and sort of instruct the robot to go to that specific area and I don't even know if you can do that and I imagine it can be quite cumbersome so either that or you have to like carry the robot to the area and hope they suck up all that they need and then you have to wait for them to scan the area so to make sure that everything is sucked up so it's not an immediate like immediate fix uh, when it comes to spot v vacuuming also when they get into rooms you have to sort of know that they are in a room and close the bedroom door because otherwise they will never clean behind the doors because they cannot open doors they are robots but they don't have robot hands they cannot do corners the robots are in circular shape so they will never be able to get into the corners and the tight edges no matter how much the brush sweeps along um, it's never long enough to really get into the edges and the corners so that's the review do i recommend it i placed it as an essential tool for any household especially if you are a busy mom and you don't like housework like me uh, anything Anything that allows me to set it, forget it, and then it gets done, uh, it will earn a rightful place in my humble home. Yeah. Anything that messed up a lot of things and don't know how to clean up after themselves, they have to get kicked out very soon. Reza! So thank you for watching this video, please like, comment your questions if you have any, subscribe and I will see you in the next video, bye! Reza say bye!